airline ticketing save money for the customer as well as the airline company thereby making air travel more customer centric this project is an attempt to simulate the basic concept of an airline reservation system this project was implemented using html and css for the front end and php for the back end the database was created and updated using MySQL. So open SAMP, then start Apache and MySQL and minimize. Go to Microsoft Edge and type localhost. Then enter. And it's still loading. Sorry guys, medyo mabagal kasi. Mabagal mag-function dahil marami naka-install. Then, here we go. Welcome to some dashboard. Then, click. Okay, waiting. So, ayan. Click PHP My Admin. Click PHP My Admin. So, mabagal na naman ulit mag-loading. Hintay lang, guys. So, airline reservation is a created database for our website. So, here are the created database. Admin, customer, flight details, frequent flyer details, jet details, passenger payment details, and ticket details. So, click admin. Loading. So, the created database of admin is the password, staff ID name, and an email. Sample, sample name is my name, Ashley. Pass, pass is the password. So, next is the customer. So, I created a database from... Uh, my group mates. I got the name from my group mates. I love and others. And next is the flight details. Frequent flyer details. Um, I only created two because wala na akong maisip. So passenger is PAL, Philippine Airlines. Yes, ayan lamang po yung jet type natin. Then next is a payment details. Payment details. So payment mode is credit card, debit card and net banking. So click new tab then type local host and the title of our website which is the airline reservation airline ticket reservation then enter wait and it's still loading so here we go this is our home page number one it contains a news and announcement about our airline how to book tickets and a sample image which i got in google yeah. next so i will show you how we create those design in href as you can see there's an index um we link an index html which is the login etc the body part image part and the news part and the direction scroll up is in this part with the height of 100 percent and about our footer then exit Click book ticket. So, and it's still waiting. Oh, here we go. And we try to log in the admin. Click admin. Then the password of pass and pass. Then yes. click administrator. Then log in. 
So here we go. There's a welcome message. Welcome administrator and the view list of book tickets, add flight schedule, delete flight, add aircrafts, activate aircraft, deactivate aircraft. You can change it in the created databases. So here we go. Another home page we created, which is ha it has a video background. Welcome to WebCentric Airways. Then scroll down. Our video background. Press Ctrl O to open the home page source code. As you can see, we connect HTML code to PHP file. At our homepage website, we made a video background to attract customer and also an eye appealing or catch background. We put some comments in our code to know the next process of our system. Then next is proceed to website and click book ticket. As you can see, we connect HTML code to PHP file. Wait for a minute. Still loading. So here's the view of the login page and I will try to log in an existing user account on this page. In username, I will put or choose Ashley. Ashley. And the password, I will choose Ashley. Then click button, then submit. Wait for a minute. There you go. It shows the customer homepage and it contains the header and panel. Also a welcome message and you can also see your frequent flyer number mill age. And if you want to book tickets, just click book tickets. Then as you can see the book tickets page, you can input where you came from and what destination you are going to and also the departure date where you want to travel on what available date you want the number of passenger and especially the type of class you want if business class or economic class And if you want to book tickets again, just click view tickets and there you go. It will show all the reservation you book. This page shows the upcoming trips that contains PNR date of reservation, flight number, journey date, class, booking status, number of passenger and payment ID. Proceed to the next, the print book ticket. Just put or type the P PNR number, then back. Type PNR first and follow my face. Hmm. Okay. 
Next, you can cancel book flight with your PNR number, then log out. Go back to home page. Then next, click again book tickets to log in again. User, new user or not existing user. Type Sir Lee, then password. As you notice, it shows invalid username or password. So, click create new user account, then fill out the information needed. For example, Sir Lee, then password. Enter your name, type Lee, the number, which is um, 87000, the address, um, Batak. Then submit. Okay, so I will try to log in the created user username, Sir Lee. The password is Simon. Then click login. So it shows the new user, new customer homepage. It's also the same as the existing user. There's also a welcome greet, and you can also book tickets. This page shows the search for available flights where you can input where you came from and the destination you want to go. Okay, Batak, China. And also the departure date, number of passenger, and the type of class you want. I will put 2022. Seventeenth day of January. passengers in a business class then submit there you go you can now see the available flights just click select the select flights Another page is the booking of tickets, add passenger details, passenger 1 and passenger 2 is the number you input in the previous page. So just fill out the information needed below, the name, age 35, gender male, passengers in flight mail, yes, passenger frequent flyer ID, null, passenger 2, name Joa, age 33, Passenger there female, in flight mail yes, passenger frequent flyer ID null. The travel enter details remain yes, then click submit ticket details. Yes, it shows also the payment details, the payment summary and the total of bill. Also you can see the payment transaction and especially the payment mode. I chose debit card, then submit. 
again another greetings if you book successfully just remember your PNR number for checking your reservation click name the logout user Next, checking our database in PHP My Admin. Click Airline Reser Reservation. And then click Customer. And there you go, the new user was added in the database as you can see then checking for the flight, then checking for the flight details. They also added in database. I will try to get one PNR number and and copy. Then go back to website, click check PNR, then paste the number I copied in the database, then click check. Success, it shows the details of the ticket you reserved two tickets because you input two passenger, so it shows only two tickets. Go to website, click about us, and contact. There's nothing to show us. You notice it only gives a white flash if you click just because we did not do it and we're having a short time. So I will again log in the new user. Username, Sir Lee. Click view book. You can now view the book, flight, tickets you reserve, back print, book, ticket just type the PNR number and it shows the number of tickets 